we have said that worship should be two-sided for you to have a worship that will be fruitful and, and, and acceptable it should be your response to the revelation of God that you received that's why Jesus said to the Samaritan woman you Samaritans worship what you know not but we the Jews we worship what we know your worship will be will be solid if it is revelation based and because Christ is God's final and ultimate revelation of himself the acceptable kingdom worship should be Christocentric Christ is the visible image of the unseen God. The final and the ultimate revelation of God is Christ. And the, the primary and authoritative source of revelation of the person of Christ is the word of God. Hallelujah. If you want to see God, look at Christ. If you want to see Christ, look into the world. So that was why that on Thursday we were teaching, learn how to honor the word of God as God. People pray for miracles. They pray for their needs for months, for years and miss the answer because most Christians know how to pray but they don't know how to receive answers to their prayers so we saw in Psalm chapter 107 verse 19 and 20 the Bible says they cried out to the Lord in their distress they were distressed and they cried out to the Lord they prayed to the Lord and the Lord hearkened to their cry and delivered them. Now watch it. Verse 20 he says, He sent forth his word and healed his people and delivered them from their destruction. When you pray, the instrument with which God responds to your prayer is the word. He sends forth his word for healing. He sends forth his word for deliverance. He sends forth his word to bring answers to your prayers. So if you come to God's presence, whether in your house or in the church, and you spend the whole of the time praying to God, but you miss the moment of the word, you miss the moment of your answer. Because you are the one who prays. You are the one who prays, but you are not the one who answers prayers. And the one who answers prayers, answers through the word. Whether you are sitting in, in this place of worship, the greatest moment in the place of worship is not the moment of prophecy. It's not the moment of prayer for healing. The greatest moment of our gathering is the moment when the word of God is being shared. Because even the worship you give to God, the value, the depth of your word, the depth of your worship is dependent on the revelation of the word that you have. Because worship is bowing all that we are before all that God is. So what you know of God will determine what you worship and how you worship. All right. So we, we 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 said it is going now to be necessary, and we saw the Bible say God magnifies His word above all His names. So if God magnifies His word above all His names, and you don't magnify the word of God, what are you doing? You came to God. You are praying to Him. 
And this same God magnifies his word. Why? His word is his integrity. His word is his life. Christ is the incarnate word of God. He said to them in John chapter 10 verse 35 Is it not written in your laws Ye are gods He called them gods Unto whom the word of God came uh, Unto whom the word of God came And the scriptures cannot be broken The word of God comes to you Not to leave you as an ordinary person so the moment of the word is the moment of that miracle you are looking for. The moment of the word is the moment of the answers to the prayers you are praying. The reason people sit in church and some are giving testimonies and celebrating their miracle but they don't is that they know how to pray but they also know how to miss their answers by, by not referencing the word of God. The scripture says they received the same word we received, but because they did not mix it with faith, it didn't work for them. He said, Paul was teaching the word of God, and the man sat there listening with every focus and concentration. And Paul saw that he has faith for healing. Paul said, You get up and be healed. He was healed. Your answer is in the word of God. Learn to honor the word of God. Some people will spend their life praying and jumping and praying and jumping when it is time to speak, the, to share the word of God. They sleep off. You just missed the answer to all the prayers you are praying. Because they cried out to him in their distress. He sent his word to answer them. Learn to honor the word. Whether you are reading your Bible in your house alone or you are listening to the, me the teaching of the word of God in church or anywhere, learn to honor the word. I have taught you here that the word of God is the seed of God. And Jesus said in John chapter 6 verse 63, the word that I speak to you, they are the spirit. So the word of God is Christ. In the beginning was the word, John chapter 1 verse 1. And the word was made flesh, verse 14. The word of God is Christ. The word of God is the spirit of God. The word of God is the seed of God. The seed that, that we give birth to that miracle you are looking for is the word. So no matter how long you have prayed and waited, if you keep missing the moment of the word, you keep missing the answer to your it is the entrance of the world that brings light and gives understanding to the simple. Learn to magnify the word of God because even God magnifies his word above all his name. 